Hi there. Today we are talking about a book called Blankets, which is written by Craig Thompson. It is a graphic novel, an illustrated novel, in other words. Let us start. You know, uh, by a quote from the book. How satisfying it is to leave a mark on a blank surface, to make a map of my movement, no matter how temporary. Uh, it's a beautiful book. The artwork is wonderful. Uh, it's basically black and white. But doesn't matter. You know, even though it's again my notes are here. Even though it's black and white, I could find colors in it. A wild array of them. shifting around blooming and kabooming at the same time a uh, before this and before that a controlled chaos of emotions that's what i felt beautiful book by the way mm. if you want to start uh, reading graphic novels by this by this book i think it's a wonderful place to start i suppose mm there are beautiful books in this genre uh, not not exactly in the genre in the you know in the uh, medium of graphic novels as such uh, there is beautiful uh, there are beautiful writers like alan moore that is um, b for vendetta mm, from hell pure uh, and then there is um, watchmen beautiful books if you have not read any of them you can start you can try Mm. then uh, there is a series of novels called sin city you might have seen the movies movies are really good but books are of course better mm. try them mm. uh, about this book uh, this book reminded me of there is another book called maus m a u s i have forgotten the name of the author that's another graphic novel it's about uh, surviving the holocaust mm. hitler that stuff beautiful novel that is A, again another graphic novel i will reread it and i can review it later hmm? uh, basically bla- let's come back to blankets blankets is basically a growing growing up story you know uh, there are vivid and fantastic pictures of his childhood you know uh, it's in a in a very simple way we can say it as uh, his love life his first love and uh, his brotherly affection there is a brother and the relationship with his parents with his uh, faith he is a uh, he is uh, uh, what do you say uh, brought up in a very rigid christian background okay if you are from that kind of a family you know what i am talking about uh, uh, if you want to know uh, 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 what do you say a sarcastic way of seeing it there is a series called uh, Sheldon uh, I think that's not the full name of it it's running in a prime uh, uh, the sh- the series shell you just type sheldon the sheldon the uh, main character is a kid the kid has a mother who is very 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 religious and there are some interesting sequences between them watch it if you feel like uh, as i have told it it it, it is this is this book is uh what do you say drawn in black and white and that really sets the mood snow is a, a beautiful background to it and um, you know uh, and i'm really sad that i have never seen snow uh, if you have seen it good uh, now it is global warming and uh, and i don't know how much more how in in fu- in future if we can see it snow again i don't know Uh, but even though in global warming they say that uh, in uh, climate change some parts will get really hotter and some parts will get really colder so there will be snow but we we not we may not be able to reach there i don't know you know uh, again coming back to blankets um, he uh, really talks about the psychological trauma of growing up i am not saying that every boy grows up in psychological trauma but there can be psychological trauma okay uh, it depends upon person to person and uh, in his in protagonist actually this is a uh, almost an autobiographical account of his life 
I uh, because he is uh, the uh, kid's name is Craig. His the author's name is Craig, and he is just saying Craig. That's what uh, the same thing you can see in another novel is Persepolis. Again, I I will reread it. That's another graphic novel. I forgot the author's name. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's about uh, revolutionary Iran and uh, how a girl is growing up. Beautiful book that is. Mm. Uh, and he t- in this case, as he is from a religious family, uh, he turns to religion whenever he is getting hurt, and then uh, love comes up, and uh, the religion and his love, how he copes with both of them. That's how the story moves forward. The art is really psychedelic. I have to say, uh, you know, uh, it's like uh, blooming. We, it's like we 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 are seeing a fast forward fast forward version of a, a seed growing up. You know, most of the in some plates, it just uh, something starts from here and it just blooms, blooms and blooms and becomes something else. It's really beautiful. Okay, I don't just I, I don't want to show you everything because it is really worth it. I got this from Amazon. It's a used book. It doesn't look like used, but uh, you can get. That those kind of versions from Amazon, so that uh, it doesn't uh, burn a hole, burn a hole in your pocket. Um, uh, uh, some notes I have written. You know, uh, snowflakes makes these shapes that are fantastic and a bit scary at the same time. That's what I felt when I uh, read it. And then again, I can wrap around my head around the fact that. All fundamental faiths has something against art. You can see that uh, in this. They might not be understanding it or they might be understanding it quite too well maybe. Because art is some kind of, uh, you know, it's a process of unlearning uh, that I have found. So, when you are unlearning something, uh, you change. And the change may not be suitable to your surroundings. And... uh, uh, then you will have to change your surroundings. Uh, that's what Ayn Rand said uh, in her in her oeuvre of work. Uh, if you have read Ayn Rand, the Found Head Atlas Shrek, that's what she is talking about. Uh, uh, objectivism. Beautiful books. I have to reread it again. I have read it long back actually. Now, he, here the author contemplates uh, of being a Christian cartoonist. Uh, uh, that was and he himself is finding that after some time you know that was really loony and the parts were her words her, her the heroine's name is Reina R-A-I-N-A uh, beautiful name in this setting so I have to tell you beautiful uh, the part were her words written on paper turns him on <laughs> of course if you are a bibliophile, that happens. Uh, page one sixty seven. What a good Christian think about education. I'm not talking about every Christians. I'm just talking about fundamentally, fundamentalist Christians. He is talking about, I suppose. Uh, let's see. You know, uh, this is uh, dialogue between the hero and his mum. Your father is not too happy about school you have already missed. But my grades are really great, Craig is saying. We don't accomplish anything while we are at school anyway. And Craig again says, all they do is teach us evolution and about and about how God is dead. Mother says, not to mention sex education. Why we let these people teach our children, I will never know. <laughs> Poor mother. <clears throat> mm. uh, there is a beautiful sequence where, you know, uh, uh, the hero is seeing the heroine for the fu- heroine for the first time. The words flowing around them, they're they're going, uh, they're traveling in a car, um, and uh, you beyond snow is falling. Okay, and uh, like the snow, words are flowing around them. You know the words flowing around them when they are uh, sitting inside the car. Words around them, inside them, huh? flitting around touching things that better left untouched and saying things that cannot be properly said. Beautiful. Another thing is the word tree. It's in page 343. Oh, word tree is beautiful. He goes 
to her home and uh, on her wall he is drawing that uh, tree oh what a tree man what a tree what a wonderful tree you have painted raina is saying then craig is saying this is us in the branches even though it's cold outside it's warm in the street uh, raina said and craig says that's because it still hasn't shed all its leaves and the leaves are her poems those are the poems i have been typing raina is saying you know the warmth of her words Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Uh, and the question that the books put up, everything degenerates. So why begin in the first place? That's very pessimistic. But it's that thought comes, you know, in the book. Uh, page 499. I have to read it out. I have told myself. Let's read it out. Page 499. Yes. <laughs> uh, Craig is uh, uh, lying on his bed and he is saying, he is calling Raina. Okay. Oh, Raina, I miss you so bad. I have been wearing your shirt for days. Your socks too. Each, each day they smell a little less like you. Raina, I need you. Oh. And again... Uh, that was extreme of love and page 549 comes to debugging of faith actually uh, you know growth process he is talking to himself this i couldn't accept i have been i had been taught the words of the bible came straight from the mouth of god if indeed they were subtly modified by generations of scribes and watered down by translations then for me their truth was cancelled out it suddenly struck me as absurd that something as divine as god's speech could be pinned down in physical mass produced form and uh, let's uh, conclude this review by a poem not poem that is written by me after reading this his winter his winter gave me warmth a faint glow of a promise a sparkle of a whisper a reassurance of somnolence so with that enigmatic note uh, let me conclude this video i hope you are liking it if you are liking it show some love uh, and do read this book i am right now reading the assassination of mahatma gandhi that is from the hindu publications another one i have started is uh, louis carroll complete illustrated edition hmm. i will tell you about all that when i finish it thank you for listening hope you have a healthy day healthy evening thank you see you again bye